Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to do this uh, to create this nice wireframe effect um, inside After Effects using Element 3D. It's pretty easy to do, and if you want a more advanced wireframe tutorial on how to create like a pattern in your wireframe, like you don't have those weird diagonal lines, then just write them in the comments. But I think this looks quite quite good. So let's jump right in and create our text layer. So just type in anything you want, and but make sure it's like on the bold setting of your font because if you go for like a light text um, then that doesn't look good in the wireframe so always put it on bold then create a new uh, solid and name this element and then drag the element 3d effect on there go to custom layers custom text and masks to load our text so click on the text layer and then just go into scene setup and click extrude. So now you can uh, put on the uh, material you want for your wireframe. You could go with just white or something and adjust the colors later with color grading or I'm gonna go with the same material I used uh, for the text you just saw which is shiny light. But you can always change the colors or go and use other uh, materials of course but yeah. So let's just disable our um, text layer. So now I'm going to create the wireframe, go to output, polygon mode and set this to wireframe. But there's way too much detail on the wireframe right now. Um, so I'm going to go to scene setup, extrusion model and then uh, uh, bring down the path resolution to low. So that way we have less detail on the font. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is create the camera to um, yeah, have some movement and stuff happening. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and rotate it a bit maybe like that and zoom in a bit more. Okay, like that maybe. Okay, this looks different to the um, to the example you just saw, but just like play around with all the rotations and stuff like that till you have what you want. So I'm just gonna leave it like that now. You could also use a um, null object to animate this, so uh, and you could just I'm actually gonna show that to you. Um, you could let's delete the camera again, create a new. Uh, uh, camera and then create a new null object right there and then you just parent the camera to the null object used by using this little pick whip and just put that on there and that way you can um, control the camera um, oh yeah don't forget to um, make the null object a 3d layer if you don't have this just press f4 on your keyboard and that way we can also control z space so I'm just gonna zoom in a bit now like that and uh, go a bit to the left this won't look like the proper example I just showed you but just like play around until you have what you want it's not that easy to control sometimes but it should be alright okay maybe like that and let's zoom in a bit more okay so let's just key from the position at the start and the rotation and then go to the end of your um, intro or whatever you want to do and change it to whatever you want so I'm just bringing this back to normal again and yeah maybe add a little bit of rotation actually like that and yeah I'm also going to add a little bit of rotation here at the start okay now we have this animation happening um, yeah it's not perfect but should be alright for this tutorial um, so <clears throat> what we're going to do now is add a glow to this wireframe so actually before we do that just duplicate the 
element layer then go to the output and change it to normal so we have the um, normal text later and what I'm going to do in this layer is enable I'll go to your render settings and, and enable ambient occlusion so we have some nice shading as you can see on the uh, on the edges of those of the text layers it just looks way better and what you can do now is um, let me just create a background so we don't have just like a black background I think this will look a bit better add a little vignette so I'm just uh, going to the masking tool double click on there then invert it and uh, no don't invert it and feather it out and put it below all the other layers so that way we have a nice nicer background um, so what we want to do now is um, make this uh, start with the wireframe and then turn into uh, the normal text so just uh, bring down on the top layer without the wireframe bring down the opacity to zero go at the end and bring it up to 100 and what I did in the example is I changed the overlay mode of this layer to add but you can pretty much use any other overlay type you want and yeah but I'm just gonna go with add so what I did then is on the wireframe layer I added a glow to make it look a bit better like that and just play around with a th uh, threshold and the intensity I'm actually gonna go here now disable that and maybe bring up the radius make it a bit more blue bring down the intensity a bit okay like that I guess Okay, that looks all right and then you can do the same on the uh, element layer uh, on the other element layer with uh, without the wireframe but I am going for trap code shine which looks way better in my opinion I'm gonna add that to the top layer so that looks quite cool in my opinion but there is uh, I was I would say we would br should bring down the Ray length, something like uh, 0 0.2 or something, and you can uh, leave it this color, but it looks a bit weird in the transition part, like it looks a bit greenish. But if you change like the overall color to orange, um, like of the material, then that look, looks all right too. But I'm gonna go to colorize and choose the um, effect electric. So that looks quite cool in my opinion. You could always uh, play around with the uh, uh, boost light or the ray length. Like there's loads of st cool stuff you could do. You could also keyframe this, of course. Let's just look at like this. That was quite cool as well. There's a lot of stuff you can do basically. And yeah, that is basically it for this. Um, I just added some letter boxes and a color correction. Like without the color correction, it looks like this. And also another thing you can do is, um, as you can see, there's a flare motion track to this. Well, <clears throat> actually, it's not motion track because we're working in 3D space now. It is really easy to put a optical flare on uh, onto our text. So just create a new black solid change the blending mode to add and then add the effect optical flares and change the source type to 3d and then just drag it onto the spot where you want it or you can go to position and just change it there and then bring down the scale maybe the brightness and just play around with that like different types of flares you can go to the options and go to lights choose any of those I was going to motion everything and use this one. Um, yeah, then you can just play around with all of this and like move it anywhere you want. Maybe put on the O. You can have multiple flares, of course. Change anything you want. And as you can see, this perfectly sticks to our text. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going a bit off here. 
but you basically get the idea. You can always just go in there and change the material um, to something else, to a different color. And there's loads of other, other stuff you could do. Um, like in my main scene, I also had some depth of field at the start. Um, as you can see here, um, you have to just enable depth of field and then play around with the focus distance. Like if I crank this up, it gets all blurry. But like if you have like a depth uh, shot like where you like look from the left of the text to the right of the text you can have some really cool effects um, so yeah that is basically it for this tutorial if you want more tutorials on like text or things like that like cool text you can do with elements like of course there's loads of other stuff you could do in here you could just um, go into your group and go to the particle look and enable the multi tag uh, multi object tag and then just play around the displacement or um, but then again of course you would have to redo this again and just uh, duplicate the layer again I'm just gonna show that to you now actually so yeah just play around with the displacement here but then you're getting problems with the uh, flare of course like scatter I don't know really things like that add some rotation then you would have to manually keyframe the uh, the flare though but there is a lot of stuff you could do just keyframe all that stuff like at the start keyframe it you basically get the idea I guess and then just put all back to zero we'll have been more smart if I copied that keyframe at the start but you know so um yeah, then just like duplicate the layer again and uh, um, do the same stuff I did earlier if you want to fill this out. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, if you want any have any more requests then please just write them in the comments and it would be amazing if you could follow me on Twitter. So yeah, that's basically it. Leave a rating and thanks for watching. Bye.